Hey, your boy go again. Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy, Ron JB. Anyway, the reason why I want to do this video today is because I have my topics. You all know how I do. I have my little topics. Um, the first topic is called True Love's Kiss. And the other one is called Money Slaves. Stuck on the money. <laughs> Funny how these days... I have more than one topic to talk about, but you know what? Most of the time when I do my videos, I always have more than one topic to talk about anyway. So, let's go ahead and get to the uh, True Love's Kiss. This basically is a video relating to the uh, Snow White, you know, Poison Apple, y'all sleep, you know, video. You know, basically. Um, yeah. The only True Love's Kiss, tr truthfully, is God. And we... As a people, really, 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 really got to start as a community, as a whole, wake up. Because that's the only, you know, definition behind uh, us treating people with the kindness that God wants us to treat each other with. Now, a lot of you all are beg to differ. Y'all will say, ah, oh, God this, God that, ah, oh, this, I don't believe in God, ah, oh, ah, how do you get here then? Explain it. Since you're so sure that there's no God or we wasn't created by someone or, or, or higher power, then prove it. Because see, this is this is the problem that I have with people. They always running off at the mouth, but they never got no proof. No proof. The Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory. Okay. Really? Trash is trash. We were we were created in the image of God, and yet we still go out here and we mistreat one another from a day to day basis. White people want to mess around with everybody that's not that don't look like them. <laughs> like I said in the last video, man, the poison apple, y'all sleep. We need to wake up as a people. I'm sorry, you know, we 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 as a people, we as a community. We, we, we as a, a, a country, we as a, a, a world need to wake up. Because we got too many people on this earth, way too many, that are good people. Some know God, some don't. But when they do, they understand the kindness. And most of the time when people are not causing problems, they're usually people that are just kind anyway. But yet, you got people that go over there and want to take over and control and cause problems and just like they're doing out here right now in the states of the United States all this violence toward people that don't look like them or people that's not in the same status of them because that's what it's getting down to now because black folks are doing it to each other when you're a police officer and you decide to go and hurt your own brother you ain't no better than the crooks that's out there doing it anyway. Y'all all criminals. Y'all all the gang. Y'all all thugs. You, you, you gangsters, man. Y'all ain't nothing but that, man. The same thing that you all call yourself going out here and fighting for and trying to take off the street is exactly what you all are doing out here. Police officers, they act like that. Servants, they act like that. Citizen protectors that act like that. It's a shame that the taxpayer <clears throat> have to pay taxes out there, check every week, and they got to be worried if, if the, the person they're paying, the, you know, that they're funding to, to have these taxes and, and work for them are the same people that's, like the guy said, persecuting them. It's a shame. It really is. Persecuting them. Can't even go out in the street and go back and forth to work and mind their own business without a police officer getting behind them and check them. Just the other day, I had an officer do that. I was coming from work, and I, I shit you not, it was like literally not even a half a mile down the road. I'm driving by, and I'm driving under the speed limit, and he still want to get behind me and check the tag. Why 
if, if, if I'm not doing anything wrong, I have to go through that. <laughs> I just don't understand it, man. <coughs> All they got to do is just see something <coughs> that they're, that they feel they're not comfortable with. <coughs> and then all of a sudden you're a criminal to them. And the way that the police have been mistreating and mishandling the citizens out here, the taxpaying citizens, the one that's out here actually abiding, you know, obeying the law and doing what they're supposed to do on a daily day on a day to day basis, you know. Most of the time, people are not out here to cause trouble. Most of the time, they're they're out here just trying to do what they got to do, you know, go back and forth to work like I do. Go back and forth to work. That's all I fucking do. Go back and forth to work. And anything they got to get handled on the weekend, like getting groceries, getting some work done at the car, just the whole shit, man. And yet, <laughs> racial profiled all the time. Have tenant windows, you get racial profiled. They can't see you when you drive by, they get scared. That's a threat to them. What do they stick a dick in? A pussy, right? That's what they act like. They don't act like the dick no more. They act like the pussy. You know, and what's so fucked up is that the women are starting to act more like the dick and the men are starting to act more act like the pussy. It's a fucking shame. It really is. Because if you ever, if you see most of the brutality that's done, it's, it's most of the time by men cops. And the race, yes, there are some black and some other people in there that's doing criminal acts against, you know, law-abiding citizens. But most of the time, it's Caucasian, white. Always got a trick up their sleeve. Always playing a game. And they think you so fucking stupid that you don't realize it. And some of y'all really are actually that stupid and y'all don't realize it. <coughs> <coughs> Slave money. Stuck on the money. <coughs> <coughs> this is referring to everybody. And y'all know how I always get on the niggas. Us, the niggas. I ain't gonna consider myself that though. Or my girl or anybody that I hang around. Because they don't act like that. But this is based on the ones that are so stuck. You know, to a point. Oh, I got, a, I got the Jordans. You know. Um, rich niggas to the right, broke niggas to the left type shit. Slave money niggas. You know, motherfuckers that think that because they're getting a the white man dollar, they better than everybody. You know, they turn into Karens when they get money. All of a sudden, they shit don't stink. All of a sudden, they better than you. So, you know, all of a sudden when they, you know, them type of niggas, you know? Niggas. Broke niggas to the left. Rich niggas to the right. Bullshit. That's the unity community that I've been telling y'all about for the longest time. That's the unity community shit. The unity community shit. That I've been trying to tell y'all for a long time. You keep fucking up. Because y'all won't unify. Y'all get y'all money and y'all... Y'all ass is gone. Rather than saying, hey, you know what? I got a little bit of change to spare. <coughs> I'm not going to give it all. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to give something. To try to help. But I'm going to do it my way. Like I told y'all in one of my videos before, be smart with your money. Be smart with it. Because you know there's a lot of people out here that's going to take advantage of you. When you just give them money, give them money, give them money. Now, if you're going to if you're gonna give money, watch the shit. Like I told y'all before, in, a, in whatever video it was, I told y'all that in. We need... If we're going to get the slave money, because that's what it basically is. They, they they basically control how much 
they want us to have. Unless you entertain them. Football, baseball, basketball, soccer. Some type of silliness that, that will, or something that's going to entertain them. Then they'll pay a lot of money, but they still put a cap on that too. Well, we like that nigger, but we're still going to put a cap on how much you can mic. Because we don't want these niggas getting too powerful. If they get too powerful, then shit, we, we, we don't know what we're going to do. Come on, people. That's the part that a lot of us are not getting. I didn't even get it at first. Don't, don't look at me. And, uh, 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 don't look at me. I'm high. Smoky. You know, I didn't know at first either, man. I didn't, man. But I do my research. I, I sit here and I look at videos. I check things out. I don't just sit around and just watch bullshit on TV all day. I choose to watch the news and watch anything else, you know what I'm saying, that's going on around me. If, if it's something going on in the world, I want to know about it, especially if it affects me and my people. This is the part that a lot of us as brothers and sisters are not figuring out that we got to look out for each other. We got to be the bodyguard. We got to be like, okay, 50,000 of us are going to be the security tonight while the other 50,000 sleep. Then when the other 50,000 sleep, then the other 50,000 are up being the security while the other 50,000 sleep. That's the type of shit we got to be on. Because as a community... And as a people, we're losing. And the reason why we're losing is because we to we talk for one, we tolerate too much shit. We allow the bullies to bully. That's one of the reasons. The other reason is because a lot of y'all feel powerless. I get it. But you ain't going to get no power until you start standing up and fighting. I do see a few of y'all out there doing it. But like I told you in the last video, what, it, what was it, uh... I don't even remember. Wake up. Y'all need to wake up. Some shit. Whatever the video was. It's one It's one of the videos on this channel. Um, I suggested that you all, you know, you know, start getting educated and, you know, just, just watching the news, man. Y'all need to watch the fucking news, man. Watch the fucking news sometime. Spend some time. It's, it's like that 1% that God asking for. That mustard seed that he wants y'all to drop in the ground and let it grow. All he asking is just drop the mustard seed in the ground. He not even asking you to dig a hole in the planet. He just asks you just drop it on the ground. He'll, fi he'll, he'll, he'll fix everything else after that. Now I understand. There's a lot of profanity in my videos. And it's not fair that I do a lot of cursing while I'm talking about God. But this is my way of expressing myself. And if some of y'all don't agree, I understand. <laughs> but I'm expressing my way the way I want to until I feel it's necessary for me to stop doing what I do. No views, some views, whatever. It don't matter to me. It doesn't matter. But I do know this. When it comes to God, he matters the most in my life above everything. If I if I don't have God, then what do I have? I have nothing, man. That car outside, that 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 the car I got outside, them cars I got outside, I, I wouldn't have that if it wasn't for him. The job that I got, I wouldn't have that if it wasn't for him. See, this is the devil. The devil tried to take everything, that all your joy. He tried to destroy everything in your life. Everything, man. And I, I've had it happen to me so many times. But uh, I, you you talk about a testimony? I can't wait till I get in front of a church and be able to speak my testimonies. Because I got a lot of them. Huh. People don't know half the stuff I've been through out here. Not even a, a tenth of crap that I've been through out here. And I know it's other people like me out here. That's the reason why I don't judge, man. You, 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 people sit here and look at somebody, <laughs> they're laughing at them, don't even know a damn thing about this person, but yet you judging and stereotyping. Don't know what they've been through. But so quick to judge and stereotype. That's, 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 that's the reason why I don't understand the, the, the white folk, the one that are, the, the, the white supremacy motherfuckers. Like, how, how, who, who gives you the right to sit and judge somebody just because of what you feel, man, and what you feel? 
You don't know nothing about somebody, but then you 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 judge them and then you treat them a certain way because of your judgment, bro. Oh boy, I can't wait till God come down here and judge y'all. Ooh, ooh, cause y'all go burn. Y'all go burn for every second, every minute, every millisecond that you did to somebody to hurt them. You all gonna suffer for that. Unless you change your ways, because God's forgiving. As much as as a human being, I probably wouldn't forgive you. I just let your ass burn. I'm just being honest with you. Because the rage that I feel in my heart, how y'all go out here and mistreat people, if I was God, I'd be honest with you, y'all ass will burn. And I would have no mercy on you. But see, God, he got mercy on all of us, even me, for even saying something so stupid and selfish as that. You still have mercy on the wicked. Still have mercy on y'all. <laughs> Do y'all really want to go down that low, steep that low, to, to just that little bit of mercy that's left? Well, you can have it all. But because y'all so stubborn, y'all so stuck on y'all ways that y'all don't even care about the next man that's walking in front of you, especially if they, they, they look different than you, they're darker than you. They're half a shade talking to you. You got a problem with them. And y'all sit here and you implement this mess. It's, it's spread like a virus. All these other people out here, they call them carrots, out here acting a damn fool because they see a black person or this person or that person that's not white doing this or doing that. And they think they got the right to go and harass them. Y'all done taught them hate. And that hate, why, why teach somebody something that's going to send you to hell? Why teach somebody something like that? If you love your brother and your sister, why would you teach them hate and turn around and have them go to hell with you? You you got you can't love your brother and your sister, and if you're doing that, you teach them love and kindness. That's that's how you love your brother and your sister, and teach them love and kindness. You teach them hate. You just teaching them to be down there with you in hell, your spiritual home, hell, lake of fire. I just don't understand this, man. Oh, we're going to teach him hate on earth, but we're going to go to heaven afterwards. No, you're not. No, you're not. You, you can't possibly think you're going to go to heaven hating somebody, man. Your heart is not pure. And you can't fool God. None of us can. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I don't understand it. I really don't. And then the white folks want to act like they so pure. And I ain't talking about all of y'all. Because you all of y'all, including the wicked, are our brothers and our sisters. But they're just wicked brothers and sisters that we can't fuck with. We can't hang around. Because they're troublemakers. But for the good brothers and sisters, whether you're white, black, Haitian, Jamaican, Puerto Rican, Chinese, it, it, it don't fucking matter, man. You know, the race and shit ain't got nothing to do with our judgment from God. Our judgment. Because... We, when he looked down on us, well, no, look at us, because we're going to stand before judgment. When he looks at us, he's not going to see black, white, Haitian, all that. He's going to see our, his children, my children, my children. That's all he's going to see in front of him. My children. My children. So that's why I don't understand why human beings want to separate, separate, separate. These people, this crowd of people, that crowd of people, that, 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 that. Always want to cherry pick every fucking thing. God didn't cherry pick your stupid ass when he made you. I'm, I'm, it's like, the more I talk, the more I get pissed off about this shit that I'm talking about. <clears throat> because it seems like nobody get it <clears throat> sometimes. But before I get all explosive about this, I'm about to go ahead and roll my little tail on out of here. And uh, I'm holler back at y'all on the next video. All right. Y'all know what it is. Roger B. Brown. Into the mind of Roger B. Brown. Into my mind of Roger B. Brown. Those are my three channels. Y'all heard it from me. Holler back.